welcome back to Peter Aquatics and uh, as last video you know that my beta uh, fins got ooped up so I put them in the 55 and then they got even worse and so I had to put them in that small little thing so today I'm just going to give them a little bit of a bigger home and just have a fun little decorating for like a small tank it still doesn't have a filter or anything but much more room and still um, nothing else in there but a snail uh, so he'll be fine in there he shouldn't be hurt he doesn't need a filter um, because yes, uh, no organ that can get oxygen himself. Most people know that they don't need a filter, but uh, it just helps clean the water. They're using that tank I had to put him in. This is a new thing he's going in. I filled it up with water from the 55. Uh, and I'll just dump that water into there. <coughs> um, and once I get enough money and he regrows enough, that he'll be able to swim in a tank big enough, like this beta, without the filter and everything to stay with him, because you can see his fin's kind of hard to swim, and he's really off balance, his back kind of tips up, because his fins, I'm pretty sure, used to be at the counterbalance. So, yeah, I'm gonna uh, um, put, uh, decorate this small one and put him in there. I have leftover gravel, I have a bunch of it, and this is just a bag of one of the colors I have. Uh, it's just blue, it's like that stuff. I'm just gonna put it in here. Um, uh, it's starting to get there. I want to put like maybe one or two plants in here just so he has something to hide in. He can store somewhere at the top. Um, I don't know what that is. So I'll find some decoration somewhere. So I do have quite a bit. Um, it does spill a lot. So, yeah, that's probably what that is. Um, so you can see we're getting a little bit. I'll do one more scoop probably because all that stuff's going to go in there too. But, yeah. All right, so now it's gravel in there. Oh, an inch thick, thick, uh, and a bit thicker once that stuff also goes in there. Um, so now I'm going to find the plant. I have to put another one in because, I don't know, just feel like it. Um, uh, yeah, so now that bottom area you can see is all covered. Maybe one more, a little bit more on that side. Um, but now I'm just going to look for uh, decorations. Okay, I'm, uh, I'll be back when I find a decoration. This plant in the uh, 55 stand. Um, just something I got with that 55, I bought that used one. So I'm just gonna plop this in here. And kind of just bury it in the gravel. Right down there. Kind of cover it up. Sticks out the top a little bit, not too worried about that. Um, and yeah, that should be covered up when I pour the gravel in there. Uh, and so now, since that is water from the 55 and so is this, he should be ready to go in there. I just now put that snail in there and he's already moving around like that before I started this video. But I'll put this gravel away. Actually, I'll save it here. But that looks kind of good. It literally got on camera, actually. It's like kind of coming out. There's a lot of room to swim in here for, not for like an normal but like for his condition. He can barely move. He's getting used to it. But he is still be a nice upgrade for him. And eventually, for him, he's a hard one because I put him in the three gallon he swam into the filter got stuck and other tanks he'd get stuck on the side of the filter um so i'm probably just gonna have to keep him in a fishbowl that gets cleaned a lot so i'll just get a really nice fishbowl for him that's spacious enough um but yeah i'm gonna update you on the 10 gallon now just because i just redecorated it there's the crawfish on the moss ball still very clean um looks good you can see there's a little bit of algae that i missed right there um and a little bit on the bottom there but Crawfish liking it, still clear, nothing I'm worried about. <clears throat> and look, we got a baby snail, and that's a big wizard snail right there, another baby snail back there. Guppies are doing great. All the stuff, nah, you know, they're doing good. He's doing good. And this guy's doing really good. Um, so now I'm gonna add him into here. Uh, so yeah, let's do that real quick. So I'm just gonna open this up basically, and I'll scoop him. Go out of the top for me. Oh, it's gonna leak a little bit. And it's gonna flop. I got him. There you see, look at that. He looks not like a fish at all, but there we go back. There we go, like fingernails. There he goes. Now you can see he just flips. He's not used to all that stuff. He'll get going again, I think. Yeah. We're we'll going to update you on him. Um, but yeah, he should get going again. So I'll come back to you in a few minutes. So here it is. I decorated a little bit. You can see he's swimming around now, doing a little bit better. Uh, he just went to Super Shock. That just show shows you how weak he was. <clears throat> um, but this turned out looking really nice. 
got that big plant looks better in person uh cause in the camera it looks like the plant's taking up the whole entire view but it really isn't the snail is kind of back there uh they also don't need a filter and he'll be fine this because they go so pretty big for him and if i end up not liking them in here he'll move them back but i put a little bit of decorations around um and you can see he's just super weak like you can decide he was just swimming around <clears throat> um he should be able to go in here I also, that's the main reason I put the plant in here so it can lay on it and just go and jumping out. Uh, I'm not worried about that because you can obviously see he's not in a state where he could physically jump out right now. Once he gets bigger, by that time I should be able to give him a bigger home. Um, but yeah, he'll swim around as you saw he was. And um, if I get a clip for him swimming later, I might, I might not. I don't know, but <clears throat> uh, yeah, so... There he is. I think I'm just going to end it here. So thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.